What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm bringing you a Blastoise team, courtesy of Pokeberm. I'm gonna make sure to link their channel in the description. Now, a few days ago, I played with Charizard and Venusaur, so I figured it was only fair that this time I play with Blastoise. And let me tell you, this Blastoise is actually really cool. Blastoise has a unique combination of Fake Out and Life Do, which makes it an annoying Fake Out user, because we've got three Fake Out users on this team that can all pivot around, and that just Life Do's and supports a really, really bulky team. Because we've got Calyrex here, who's very bulky and also can be quite offensive in Trick Room. We've got Rillaboom to set Grass to heal even more. And we've got Incineroar with both Will-O-Wisp and Snarl, so you can weaken them up on either side. Uh, rounding it out, we've also got Clefairy. Friend Guard makes this team even tankier. And Ferrigraph, it's just a Ferrigraph. Good for blocking priority, good secondary Trick Room setter, has Helping Hand for when you want to hit the Go button. Just overall, a really solid team. I don't think I've seen a better Blastoise team anywhere, so thank you very much Pokeburn for making this. I'm super excited to play it. If you're excited to see it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and let's get on to it. Alright, we've got a Kyogre matchup. Ooh, they've got Wochien, and Klefki, and Sylveon. Okay, they've got more cool Pokemon than I do. Uh, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of rooting for them, honestly. Uh, they also have Incin and Archaladon. They stop Trick Room with their own Trick Room Klefki. Um, Glacial Lance does pretty good, and we are Terra Water, which is the one to be. Except our Chaladon can then Electro Shot the life out of us. Rillaboom is good. It at least forces their Terra to be on Kyogre. Blastoise is pretty good. It can take a hit from Kyogre. Most of my team cannot. And the life dues will be nice, because I feel like this is going to be a long slow one. They've got potential for screens. They've got Wo Chien. Yeah, this is going to be a long one, so I need Blastoise. Maybe I just go Rillaboom in the front. Because it'll have a faster fake out than their Incin, most likely. I mean, you can invest... Never mind, this is a really slow Rillaboom. And even slower, okay, well. Then I guess, do I want Incin? Clefairy, Taco Cat. I'm gonna go with Incin. Nothing I have left is actually good into uh, Kyogre. But Incineroar is the least pass. Uh, no trainer card. What's with the trainer card game today? It's just not hitting. Instant Clucky. Alright, well, let's see who's faster between our fake out users. Because this is an actual slow Rillaboom. But we are faster than your instant. Good. Your amulet. So I think turn one. I don't think Trick Room's that important. And Klefki could even be in Prison Trick Room. I don't think it would be on this team, but it is something it can do. Or at least it learns Trick Room. I want to fake out and high horsepower their Incin right away. Get some good chip onto that thing. And they just reflect. Okay. Yeah, so I wasn't going to do much in four Trick Room turns anyway. Decent damage, actually. Okay. Now what I want to do is probably U-turn out and just protect. Or I could brought, swap in my Incin here and U-turn out. No, uh, protect, U-turn. Because I'll go before Incineroar. Uh, Clefki's swapping. Okay. So I can get Incineroar uh, my Rillaboom off the field. Oh, they've got Mochian here. Ooh. Oh, that's so they can take the high horsepower. Does that mean they don't have Will-O-Wisp? Because that'd be great. I'm scouting for Will-O-Wisp. That's the re whole reason I'm protecting. Is to scout for their Will-O-Wisp. 
Um, and then I guess Incineroar is the thing to bring in now that they've shown they want to go to Wochian. And that can give me another fake out turn in case they do reveal Will O Wisp. They do reveal Will O Wisp. Okay. Gonna have to play around that all day. Well, high horsepower and fake out. If I can get rid of Ensign, I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, but they're gonna swap. Uh, that's still a high horsepower into something. It's Kyogre or Clefki. Unless you left Kyogre on the bench. But a high horsepower into that is fine. It won't do too much. Leech Seed Dodge? Leech Seed Dodge. Nice. That did not do any damage. Wow. Alright, so. I'm thinking Glacial Lance. Plus Flare Blitz? Because that threatens their Wo Chien really hard. And if I can force a Terra out on that, that means I can't Terra Kyogre, which means Rillaboom takes out Kyogre in the endgame. So yeah, I'm willing to commit everything into this Wo Chien. And yeah, you leech seated, but I'll probably have to switch out soon anyway. Ooh, foul play, that's gonna hurt. Eh, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. That's nothing that Blastoise can't heal up later. Good damage from Flare Blitz. I don't know if that's in Glacial Lance range, but I kind of hope it is. Ah, oh, just shy. Okay. And you've got Grassy Terrain Recovery, Leftovers, and Leaf Seed. I think you're still in Flare Blitz range, so better watch out. And because of the... Foul play on Klefki, I think I'm gonna throw a Will O Wisp on the Klefki. There's no way Flare Blitz takes it from here. I mean, Flare Blitz might take Wochian, but they have no reason not to protect. So I think I go into Blastoise. And just throw a Will O Wisp onto their Klefki. Like, yeah, you got a bulky, tanky team. You can play this slow, but so can I. I got Grassy Terrain. I got Triple Fake Out. I got Life Dude. I got Will O Wisp. You thought you were the tanky team, but no, it's- Oh, they are committing, yes. This is what I wanted to get last turn, but- Oh. Into left key. That makes sense. I'm even gladder that I will a wizard now. <laughs> that thing's going for big foul play, trying to win the game right here. Which, would that win them the game? I don't know. Blastoise, your job is now to life do every turn. Maybe I don't need it. Oh! No, Willow Dodge! No! Okay, well, they're not gonna keep Klefki in. So I think I fake out Wo Chien and Flare Blitz in. So they don't want their Klefki burned. Their Klefki is their answer to my Calyrex. Grass is gone, good. So less healing for that Wo Chien. Fake you out. Oh, I could also Grass Terra at some point. Maybe once Incineroar is gone. Uh, but Water Terra on Calyrex is good too. Don't want to Terra the Rillaboom ever. Alright, uh, yeah. Fake Out. And Flare Blitz. Uh, you swap. Is that Insin? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, that's okay. I mean, getting you a little bit of chip probably puts you in Muddy Water range. Especially because they never set Light Screen yet. Nice little fake out there. They go for a Thunder Wave and a dodge. Thank you, Blastoise. Okay, Thunder Wave, Foul Play, Reflect. Probably Light Screen then. No Trick Room, I'm guessing. Uh, they probably fake out Blastoise, but I should go for the Muddy Water, and I should go for the Will-O-Wisp. So you can't fake us both out, and one of these is gonna get something useful off. Another Thunder- Blastoise just dodging left and right! Oh, and they were calling a Kali swap there? Interesting. Uh, not a KO on Ensign, come on! Accuracy drop, well you're never gonna land a Willow. And there we go, left key. Burned, thank you. Because in case you're not aware, foul play, if you are burned, your foul play does half. 
If the target's burned, it doesn't matter. Cool. Um, honestly, if someone's going to get paralyzed, it should be Blastoise. So, go ahead and throw a third Thunder Wave. Don't care. I think I will... I think I will Muddy Water. I'll Flare Blitz the Clef Key Slap. Why not? Start getting some damage on that. This double up should take it, even through Reflect. And Light Screen if they want to. Nymphali. Sylveon? No Kyogre? Oh, no wonder they burned Terra. Accuracy drop on Klefki does not matter. It's going down this turn. <laughs> to burn. But it is going down. Wow. Okay, Sylveon, that's cool. So Sylveon, Wochen, and a barely alive Incin. Who's gonna intimidate my Incin again? Um, I guess the worst thing is Calm Mind Sylveon, so I want to yawn it right away. Calm Mind Sylveon is the scariest thing they can have. Oh, they go into. I think I'm fine to Terra Grass something now. Yeah, I can get the yawn. And block leech seeds. Only at minus one. They've got both they've got both screens up? No, they don't have reflect. Yeah, I think I want to Terra Grass Yawn the Sylveon. And I'll try to flare blitz. I'm doing this Terra Grass because I'm predicting them to try to leech seed my Blastoise. Since Incineroar, I mean, I think they've seen all four of my moves, so they should know I don't have a pivot move. But Incineroar usually has a pivot move. Yeah! Oh, Incineroar just dodged. Oh, my, my team be dodging. Yeah, it's Calm Mind Sylveon. I hate that. That's why I'm yawning you. How much is this Flare Blitz gonna do? If it, if it somehow, like, crits and knocks out... Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. Because now they have to bring in Incineroar. They could be in trouble. I do here... Um, I'm not really sure what to do this turn, because I'm not sure if they're actually going to swap out or not. I should assume they are going to swap out and try to take the double KO. Battle was just cancelled. GG's. Ooh, good job, Blastoise. That was a long one, but you hung in there. Get a card! All right, here we've got a Kali Shadow team with Ndidi. Uh, they have Incin Urshifu, powerful combo. They have Talonflame, and they have a King Gambit. So what's my speed stat on this? We are min-min speed, very minimum, okay. Uh, I do have to worry a little bit about Will-O-Wisp from Talonflame. I have to worry a little bit about their Calyrex just causing problems. Glacial Lance isn't perfect against their whole team, so... I do think Clefairy is really strong here, uh, with Blastoise in the back this time. And then probably Incineroar? What moves do I have? Will-O-Wisp Snarl? That isn't bad. That's okay. Um, but Rillaboom is also a consideration, but it can't really hit King Gambit. I guess hat on a hat can. Uh, all of these final mons are good, but I think it's going to be one of these two to actually hit Calyrex.
I'm leaning toward Rillaboom slightly because that also gets rid of their terrain. I don't know. This, this is going to be a bit of a hard match, I think. They've got some really powerful mons. That could cause a lot of trouble. And they don't have a trainer card, so maybe I've got a chance, actually. Because they've got stuff like King Gambit and Darker Shifu? That's actually great. Clefairy likes to see that. As long as you don't have Iron Head, Clefairy is untouchable here. I'll get Trick Room up eventually, but not right now. I think I'll just throw a Glacial Lance. And click Follow Me this turn. Okay, they are attacking with both. That's good to know. No Terras. Uh, just a U-turn. Fine. I'm happy to hit someone else. It's probably like Incineroar then. So you can get a Fake Out turn in on my first turn of Trick Room, which is what you think's happening, but that's not what's happening. I'm just attacking. I guess I could have high horse powered then. Oh, it's Calyrex? You're gonna let me get a free hit on Calyrex? Thanks. I love it. You must be pretty confident about this. Yeah, okay, you did have Iron Head and it KOs Clefairy. Fine. I'll take some big damage, thank you. Yeah. In fact, that's Grassy Glide Range. Is Blastoise better here? No. Yeah, it's Rillaboom. They're in Grassy Glide Range, I will just... Click Grassy Glide. And I will also Terra and... I think I'll Trick Room now. I think it's a fine time to Trick Room here. And just Grassy Glide into their Calyrex, which they withdraw. Fine. Uh, are you finally showing me in your Ensign? Because... No, it's Indeedy. Okay. I don't really need the priority. But Grassy Glide still hits you. And seeing your whole team is great. I like what you've got left. I'm going to be slower than everything. Uh, unless King Gambit is min speed, then it's a speed tie with my Calyrex. We did see it move first before, but that could have just been a speed tie, of course. Some chip on Indeedy. Not bad. Chow Chow Cleave does not nearly enough to Calyrex. Great. And now I think I will click High Horsepower into King Gambit. It's probably like a follow me or something. And I will U-turn toward Indeedee. Oh, they let me do it. That almost takes out King Gambit. Wow. And U-turn does not KO Indeedee either. They're both super low. So honestly, I hope they... Do you think they could like Psychic? my Calyrex from here to KO it? Oh, that would be insane, but they're so low, I might still win even without Calyrex. Oh, they just reverse Trick Room, that's fine, whatever. Because I will re-Trick Room. And KO both of your Pokémon with Blastoise. Yeah, as long as I hit this Muddy Water onto King Game, but I don't think you got anything. And I do. Goodbye, goodbye. Thank you for the psychic terrain to block your sucker punches. Blastoise getting two KOs in this battle. Let's go. And now I prefer the terrain you set for me. Thank you. Um, their Urshifu did U-turn. So it could be like Choice Band, which is a little bit scary, I guess. But it can't Sucker Punch, so I'm going to be able to get a Glacial Lance off at least. So Calyrex has to protect, 
and then Urshifu has to try to take a hit. I will just Glacial Lance and... I'm wondering if I should try to attack with Muddy Water or if I should Life Dew to see if I can get Calyrex out of KO range. I think I'm gonna go for Life Dew. Yeah, Calyrex has to protect. Because I don't know. I don't know if Glacial Lance plus Muddy Water KOs Urshifu. And plus its accuracy is so low. I'm already pushing my luck. I hit two of them already. I don't want to risk going for a third. I don't, I don't think that's Muddy Water range. That's spread. So I think this is the right play. Even if they take me out, like we still got enough Trick Room and Rillaboom's plenty strong. Let's see. You got enough power? You do not. That's not Choice Band. Good game. Glacial Lance. Um, I guess your way out of this is spamming Protects to get out of... Oh, I guess you Protect to get out of Psychic Terrain so you can Sucker Punch. So I should Glacial Lance and continue to Life Do. So I can stay out of Sucker Punch range. Battle's just cancelled. GG's! Blastoise is killing it out here. Let's go. Get a Trainer card. Alright, we've got an- ooh, an Eternatus Tinkatin. That's probably Spec Sludge Wave shenanigans. Uh, they've also got Galar Moltres, Landorus, Whimsicott, and Pelipper. They have a lot of stuff that makes it really hard to use <laughs> our horse. They really do, and we don't even have Wide Guard to stop the Sludge Waves. We have Terra Steel on this thing, but that doesn't help me. What does that do? Oh, great, I can Moonblast someone, yay! So it's gonna be a tough match, and if they have uh, Mold Breaker, they can fake out through for Rigorath anyway. Oh, yeah, this is a tough one. We're gonna have to... How am I gonna get through this? Um... This is... This is just a bad matchup. I don't know about this one. Uh, Glass... I mean, Calyrex isn't bad. Calyrex can still do a lot of stuff. Maybe even Incineroar can get off a Snarl or something. Yeah, I think that's a fine lead. Um, Blastoise, of course, and then... Is it Rillaboom? Or is it Taco Cat? I think I prefer Taco Cat here uh, as, as its offensive presence because if I get Trick Room up and I can get a Throat Spray boost and then I can start Psychicking Eternatus, that should do a big chunk. And I mean, it's not like Calyrex can't hurt Eternatus. It definitely can. It'll be forced to Terra. That's a cool card, I guess. I don't know who that character is. Is that just some trainer? Alright, Moltres Tinkaton. Terrifying. Let's see, are you Mold Breaker or are you Own Tempo? We'll come up before Incineroar. Yeah, you're Mold Breaker. That means I get an Intimidate off on you, which is nice. Alright, Lavados is scary. Because it can have stuff like Foul Play and Fiery Wrath. I think I'm just going to protect turn one and snarl down their Moltres. Just to get up. They're going for Terra right away. This must be Dark Moltres. Yeah, they're trying to do damage. No, I'm not going to let you do damage. I don't want you doing damage. Please don't damage me. I may have to get Calyrex out of here next. Uh, fake out is into Ensign. And they have Taunt. Okay. That's fine. I got you. Uh, I'm gonna have to slow play this then. I'm gonna go into Blastoise. And I'm more worried about, like, foul play, so I think I'm gonna actually burn the Moltres. Okay, they swap out Tinkaton. That's fine, just get another fake out for later. It's not really doing much else. And they go into Pelipper. They have all of the things that Calyrex does not want to see. Well, I'm gonna just not be a Calyrex then. I'm gonna fight you with Blastoise. 
who can like throw yawns at Pella for slot and get a fake out off. Well, I can't yawn right now, but I can fake out. Hopefully I land this Will-O-Wisp. Yes! Excellent. Your physical attack is now cut. Let me now cut your special attack with Snarl. Because I don't see them wide guarding here. So I should be fine to get off my fake out into Pelipper and a Snarl. Gotta fake out the Pelipper though, because Incineroar is threatened by like a Weather Ball. And I don't have a great swap into that until they're weakened. Alright, you get the fake out. Are you Rocky Helmet? Nope. And you just go for Fiery Wrath. That is gonna hurt. You have not been snarled yet. Uh, that wasn't so bad, actually. Pelipper flinches. Snarled gets missed by the Moltres. Ugh. Well, that's no good. Especially because my Blastoise is taunted. Have no swap ins to Fiery Wrath. <laughs> so I click Muddy Water. And I guess I click Snarl. Okay, Pelipper does swap. That's good. I don't have to take a Weather Ball, just a Fiery Rat. And getting a Snarl off onto that would be great. A Muddy Water Accuracy Drop would be even better. But we have to contend with these Fiery Rats coming at me. Ow. Blastoise, heal up. And critting Incineroar. Okay, you got a crit. That means you don't get flinches, right? You can't have both. You already dodged a Snarl and, and crit. So yeah. Muddy Water. Good damage onto Moltres. Drops. No drops. And a flinch on Incineroar. You just aren't gonna get Snarled, are you? At least the taunt is gone. But like... Yikes. Life do... Snarl. I have to go for this play. Because I need to reduce their damage. This combo might take out Blastoise. Yeah, it will. Because I never got a Snarl onto either of these. And you crit Blastoise too. Oh, sorry, Blastoise. This game just this this match isn't it. Okay, finally got a snarl. When it doesn't matter because it, it gets the boost back. Fantastic. Presumably you'll taunt rather than attacking Calyrex. So actually, this is probably a position to throw a Glacial Lance right away. Terra just in case. Throw Glacial Lance. Get into Ferrigarath, maybe? That's risky, but I'm doing it. So they could just go for Fiery Wrath, because I know they have Taunt. Okay, they're swapping that. That must be into Tinkerton. Grand Forgita? Yeah, that's Tinkerton. Um, in that case, it probably is a Taunt, then. And they have Mold Breaker, we know, so they can actually fake out in front of this. Which I can, like, protect and bring in my Ensign to get my own fake out turn, so it's probably fine. Uh, well, I can't protect if they taunt me. Actually. Hmm. They do taunt me. Well, you might not have a Moltres now, which is great. Uh, but that means you're positioned with your Eternatus if I take out Moltres here. Yikes. That could be a problem. Well, is it though? Because I don't think you take out Calyrex in one turn. And you can only fake- I don't think you take out either of us with a Sludge Wave because you don't have Terra. 
You can only fake out one, so I can either get off a glacial lance or get off a trick room. Either which of either one of those would be devastating. You could also go to Pelipper, but then you have like no offense. Yeah, you definitely gotta go to ND Nalos. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'm taunted for a couple turns. No Trick Room is up. I know you've got Mold Breaker. No stats down. Yeah, I don't think you take us both out. So I should be able to Glacial Lance or Trick Room. Could you have something? You could have, like, Helping Hand Choice Specs something or other, but you're not Helping Handing. You're just faking out. You're doubling into Furry Graph. You really don't want me to get Trick Room. Well, okay. I'm just going to take your Restricted then. Goodbye. And <laughs> double KO! Love it. And now with all these attack boosts, your Pelipper is stuck wide guarding, and so I can Psychic it forever. <laughs> Good game. Woo! Yeah, that Tinkerton Mold Breaker strat is actually really cool. I, I love how it has Mold Breaker fake out, because like, it makes it do something. Because that Pokemon is really pathetic other than the one thing it can do. Yes, yeah, so I'll just Glacial Lance and Psychic and you have to, yeah, you just quit. That's the right play. Good game. I, I, I wish Tinkerton had like huge power or like maybe an item that doubles its attack, I don't know. All right, we've got a Koridon match. Uh, they've got Serena, Rillaboom, Tornadus, Brute, Bonnet, and Shi Yu. That is five ice weaknesses. What? What's your answer to Trick Room? Um, like they have Spread moves, they have Spore, they have ter they have Fake Out. Do I have Protect on this and Calyrex? Yeah. So you can stop Fake Out, but like you can't stop Follow Me Trick Room. I don't think you don't have an Urshifu that can go through Protect. I'm gonna follow me Trick Room. And of course I'm gonna have Blastoise. To support once Clefairy goes down. Do I have Helping Hand or just... Oh, it's Yawn. Oh no, Yawn's good here. Yeah, that can put some pressure on. And it can, ha it can take hits from Chi Yu, which is the one thing that won't go down to Glacial Lance. Fantastic. And then probably... Incineroar is good. They have three Flare Blitzable mods. So I mean, yeah, of course I'm gonna bring that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess they could taunt with Tornadus, would go after Follow Me, and make Clefairy useless. But still, if I already got Trick Room up, it's not that big a deal. Ooh, they really like Sarina. Me too. Sarina's really cool. I wish it was like a little bit better. Like, it's almost good. Yeah, just a fake out lead? Fine. Fine. I'm just gonna double protect and then I'm gonna follow me Trick Room. You can spore my Clefairy, I don't care. And I got goggles on Incineroar, I think. Grassy Seed Brute Bonnet, cool. Oh, I've seen a team like this before. With like Trailblaze Brute Bonnet. Yeah, I have goggles on Incin, that's good. Protect. And Protect! It's a very skillful play here. They didn't Terra anything either. Must be a fake out into Calyrex then? No, I think you'd want to fake out Clefairy Spore Calyrex. No, it's fake out Calyrex. And Spore Clefairy? Yeah, okay. I, I guess that makes sense. That's fine too. Trick of the Room. And follow me, right? What can they do that makes that a problem? Like, obviously I'm not Terra Grass, I can't avoid the Spore. Because they could Spore either slot. They would probably Spore Calyrex. So, like, I could switch that to Incin, but... That's not my game plan. I could do that next turn. Because they could probably take a Glacial Lance, if I'm being honest. So I should probably go into Incin and protect Calyrex or something. Burn one of my turns of Trick Room, sure, but 
probably okay. I guess they could make that difficult with who they go into. Which is Koridon. Oh, that'll Terra, for sure. And Brute Bonnet gets a... Defense boost, of course, because it's got a plus one defense already. Oh, that, def that thing's going to be hard to break through then. So I need instant out here for sure. Yeah, I'm willing to give you one of my trick room turns. And get instant on the field. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. So, I don't know, if they Terra the Koridon, I can't like Will-O-Wisp it. If they have Sarvina in the back, I can't click Fake Out. Maybe I should go for a Fake Out anyway though? Force them to swap? Might not be the worst thing in the world. They have Clear Amulet Koridon, of course. They probably Terra Fire here. They don't Terra Fire here. They Thief my Safety Goggles here. Well, I don't like that. <laughs> That's great. Oh, and did they read that swap? Incredible. Well done. Oh my goodness. Okay. Guess I have to go into Blastoise now. I can I can fake out because yeah, you've got goggles. I can fake out the Brute Bonnet and just go for a Glacial Lance now. Wow. Now they'll tear the Koridon. Maybe. Who knows? That was such a bold play. They read me hard. Was it that obvious that I was going to protect Calyrex? Huh. So I could have just attacked. I could've been like, yeah, you're gonna spore me once, but I'm gonna do big damage. Probably wouldn't wake up until Trick Room ended though, so it's... I guess that is annoying. A Koridon swap into Sarina, right? Someone the chosen one. That's Sarina. Well, alright, I... KO Sarina. Do you Terra the Brute Bonnet? I think you can take a Glacial Lance even as a Grass-type. So... Yeah, you do Terra. Alright. Well, it's good to see where your Terra is coming from. It's a Poison. That's a good one. You'll take this really well. With the Defense Proto Boost, the great defense you have, and a plus one. Queenly Majesty. Yeah, I, I mean, that's fair. There's no way I was going to prevent the Spore then. But I do get an attack boost! I like that. Now your Rillaboom is in a great position against all my water types. What's the terrain end soon? Did I Trick Room turn one? Because if so, you'll have terrain until Trick Room ends. The Unrivaled. Well, that's Rillaboom. Hello, Rillaboom. Last turn of grass. Two turns of Trick Room. Well, I'm just gonna burn a turn with Calyrex, because everything's gonna be asleep in a second. I think I'll yawn the Brute Bonnet. Force them to get rid of their defense boost, or go to sleep themselves. So they could be slower than Blastoise. They're not. Because now you want to swap that slot, but you also want to swap the Rillaboom slot, so you're in a bit of a pickle. Hopefully you can't just Oko Calyrex. That would be uncool. Oh, a critical hit! Yes! <laughs> there you go. Good game. <laughs> Blastoise is not winning this one. <laughs> Ouch.
Well, at least I've got Friend Guard on the field and you no longer have Grass, so I guess Blastoise can take a hit, but... Ooh, man. They got me good. That turn 2 play probably won them the game. This collision coursing the Ensign. Mm. Alright, well... I guess I try to Moonblast that as it comes in, even though I haven't burned a turn of sleep yet on either of these. And I'll yawn the Rillaboom slot, I guess. But I don't think I don't think either of my Pokemon wake up this turn. I think this is my turn one for both of them. I don't know why I'm still playing. I guess it's not over enough for that. They could I could get turn one sleep on both. They could let Brute Bonnet go to sleep. Give me a yawn into Koridon. I don't know. It's not looking good. Uh, they are letting Brute Bonnet go to sleep. I like to see that at least. Burn our one sleep turn. They hit Blastoise with a Trailblaze. I think they're hoping to double up with that and Woodhammer KO's Blastoise, then they win. Because they can't because the fairy can't win. Yeah, it does do enough. That wasn't even a crit that time. Okay, that's fair. At least you didn't crit the Blastoise too. I mean... Fruit Bonnet's asleep. Has Trailblaze and Thief. If my Clefairy had Light Dew, I would consider continuing to play this, but... I'm not going to continue to play this. Clefairy does not win this. If I had, oh, if I had, like, Moonlight or something, I could see there being a chance, actually, for Clefairy here. Because Koridon, it can do big damage, but it also gets hurt by Moonblast. It's probably a two-shot. Brute Bonnet probably goes down to, like, 18 Moonblasts, though. But anyway, GG. Alright, we've got a Zacian matchup. Ooh, and they have Pelipper. Uh, one of Calyrex's worst fears. Uh, Chen Pao Dragonite, that's scary, but we have Farigarath, Taco Cat, uh, and then Rillaboom, Urshifu, probably Water Urshifu, pairs up well with Chen Pao and Pelipper. So how do I want to go about this? My answer to that Pelipper is going to have to be... Do, do I have one? I guess Bonky Kong? Okay. Uh, obviously I have to bring Taco Cat, Hat on a Hat, Bonky Kong, and Blastoise. And Blastoise is fake out, so that's a, that's a fine lead here. Yeah, I think those will work. I'll just put Taco Cat in the back, along with Rillaboom, so that they can Consider locking into their priority moves before I uh, tell them no. I'd much rather have them worry about- oh, no trainer card, boo. Yeah, I'd much rather have them worry about whether I have Farigarath than see that I have it right away and know to target it. It is Chen Pao Dragonite. Do I expect Pelipper to come in right away? Nah. If I expect Pelipper to come in this turn, I should Glacial Lance instead of Trick Road. But I don't think that's going to be the case. No, I am gonna Glacial Lance this turn. Yeah, I'm gonna fake out Chen Pao and I'm just gonna throw Glacial Lance right away. If they see this coming, they could Terra the Chen Pao. If they have like Throat Chop plus a decent single target move from Dragonite. Let's see. It's just Dragonite Terra, that's fine. Yeah, you just don't want to take a Glacial Lance, I get it. I mean, you're still gonna take a Glacial Lance. It's not like you're gonna Oko me unless you use that like, Giga Impact. Yo, that would be a play, wouldn't it? Oh, I kinda hope they did do that. No, it's just extreme speed. Cool, lock yourself into a dumb move. Let me 
get my Glacial Lance up. Great damage. I'm gonna go ahead and protect and heal up Calyrex a little bit and then bring in Farigraph next turn. This will this will make you think maybe I don't got it. And getting health back on Calyrex is nice. It's not like I'm burning Trick Room turns because I didn't go for Trick Room. And that was great damage. That Chen Pao went below half? Amazing. Blastoise really doing the work here, huh? Alright, I guess they could double target Blastoise, but I think Blastoise can take it. I'm not attacking, so they can't Sucker Punch either slot. Let's just see what they got. Oh, they Extreme Speed into Blastoise, that's a good call. That does so much damage! Wow! Did they double that slot? No, they went with Sucker Punch, so who knows what slot they went for. Sucker Punch is good to know. Uh, now I'm gonna bring in Taco Cat and Trick Room. Because I think I can take good advantage of these Trick Room turns now. And if they Sucker Punch, that means they probably don't have Throat Chop, so I don't need to Terra. I do have Armor Tail, good. Oh, and Throat Spray? Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that off, though, because I'm not going to be able to attack- if I Glacial Lance and they both go down, there's nothing to Hyper Voice. Yep, got you into a false sense of security by putting him in the back. And a Sucker Punch, which would fail anyway, because no one's attacking. Here we go. Tricking up the rooms. Alright, now who do you got in the back that causes problems? I guess it would be your bird, right? So I should do something that can handle the bird. I should Glacial Lance, and I should bring in Rillaboom, which is my answer to your Pelipper. Now if you predict this swap and go for Extreme Speed Sucker Punch, Maybe I should have just stayed in, and so they can't do that. Because they could be giving me Dragonite here, and going for the extreme speed anyway. No, they're withdrawing Dragonite. Okay, that's good. Now if they go for the Sucker Punch, wild. But I think they would rather go for like a Protect here. Yeah, okay. I did put myself in a little bit of risk, but it's not too bad. Is there any chance this does over half to a Zacian with Sword of Ruin active? Probably not. No, but I'm fine, because you already terastalize. So I can throw a free high horsepower... I guess I can high horsepower fake out, but I don't know if I want to do that. Hmm. I think I want to go for... I think I do. I want a Terra Water, High Horse Power, and just fake out Chen Pao so it can't Sucker Punch. Hmm. I don't know if that's enough to take Zacian, and they'd probably protect anyway. I don't know. I don't know if this is the right play. It's it's a little tricky. I gotta I gotta make safe plays because I think Trick Room is going to end before I clean up this game. So I want to make safer plays. Yeah, they just protected that. That's fine. They did not go for Sucker Punch. They did already burn Terra. How's this Trick Room turns looking? Because they're stalling out really well. Uh, two whole turns of Trick Room left. I want to go for High Horsepower and Wood Hammer into, Z into the Zacian. Just eliminate that entirely. Because I, I think Chen Pao probably protects here. 
Probably, right? Uh, they, okay, they swap that. Is it into Pelipper? Did you bring Pelipper? Or are you giving me Dragonite? I'm, I'm happy with taking Dragonite. And it was Protect. Good. Good. Get out of here, Dragonite. And that means your Zacian loses its attack boost. And I gain an attack boost. So, this is great, honestly. And Woodhammer is blocked. That's fine. Still don't know your last. Um, I'm surprised Pelipper hasn't come in yet, so that might mean it's not Pelipper. Chen Pao just protected. And we're on the last turn. I'd probably U-turn into that. Yeah, I think that's a good play, because then I can get a fake out on the field to set Trick Room back up. If I just go for a high horsepower here, I don't know if that KOs, but then a U-turn into Chen Pao. If they get the double protect with Chen Pao, I'm in a little bit of an awkward position, because Blastoise doesn't have that much health left, but they just cancel. Love it. Well done, Blastoise. You did it. Go get a trainer card. And we're back. I think Blastoise did really well today. Uh, there were a couple games where I didn't do too much, but overall, Blastoise, it's a great set. I think its stats are slightly lower than it needs to be to really shine, but this combination of moves makes it look really good. I don't know about Muddy Water. I mean, personally, if I made the team, I wouldn't like Muddy Water. I might have, like, Water Pledge or Flip Turner, you know, something safe. But Muddy Water did work in that one game, so I don't know. I like it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you again, Pokeburn, for making this team. Uh, and I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.